To this day, we have reviewed every single Hyphiman HA1000 sub headphone. So it was time to review the one that is considered to be the best, the Heshe 1000 SA or Special Edition. This is the headphone that has made everyone fall in love with Hyphiman headphones and it is a pretty old model. So those have been in production for quite a while. Let's see how they sound like and how they compare to all the other Heshe 1000 versions that we reviewed. To date. This is a headphone that showcases Hyphiman's best headphone from the Heshe 1000 series. It has a different headband compared to the version 2 and the stealth. We have a black headband here. We have the same construction for the support mechanism. We have very similar aesthetics in general to all of the other Heshe 1000 headphones. So they all look pretty much the same. The differences are minimal. They have differences in colors. They all look pretty much the same. They work the same and they have the same comfort. Since they do have the same shape, the weight is pretty similar. So the weight distribution mechanism is very good. It distributes the weight quite evenly on your head. You also get a very large ear cup and a very deep ear cup so you should have space for basically any ear shape and size. Keeping that in mind the ear pads are pretty similar to all of the other Heshe 1000 headphones so we don't have any constructional difference. There is only a tuning difference and likely a driver difference. First off those are hard to drive. You will need a pretty strong source to properly handle them to properly power them and to give you the best sound that they can provide. Keeping that in mind, most mid-range dubs will be enough and I even found that the Schilling H5 is enough to drive the Heshe 1000 Special Edition. It is worthy to keep in mind that this mechanism that supports the air cup can scratch quite easily, especially if you place them on a surface. And since you are seeing the b-rolls that we took, mines are quite a bit scratched. So when placing them on your desk, it is recommended to either place them on a soft cloth mouse pad or to have them in a Support, like those from DD Hi-Fi, which would hold the headphones like this. So that should provide better support and should keep them scratch free. Once you have them powered well enough, you should probably consider upgrading the cable because the default cable that they come with is not bad, but is limited in some ways. For example, it is a very simple black cable. It is a pretty long and uncomfortable to use cable. So I've gotten quite a few alternatives in mind that would help you improve the sound and the comfort of the Heshe 1000 SE. They have been priced at 3,500 US dollars up until now. Right now they are selling for 2,000 US dollars on the Hyphiman official website, which should be in the video description. And for that price, they are in direct competition with the Heshe 1000 version 2, with the Heshe 1000 Stealth and all of the other versions out there. And I have to tell you this, this one is the best sounding of them all. And starting with the bass, because that is the low end, we have the best bass reproduction that we've had with the uh, Heshe 1000 headphones so far. The bass is fuller, is more present, is thicker and is more impactful than all of the other Heshe 1000 headphones, including the stealth version. Those have the most slum, most impact, they hit the hardest and the bass goes the lowest. You do need a source that is able to handle them though, so don't power them from a source that is very limited in power because you will find that the bass will not be sufficient. You will need a source that is powerful, a source that is punchy by itself and a source that has a good power. This being said, this can be had for a pretty low price. For example, SMSL D0400 has enough power on the headphone amplifier, Aun S9C Pro, Hyphiman's own EF400, EF600, and there are a plethora of options even in the mid-range. You don't even have to climb to the high-end for sources to be able to properly power the Heshe 1000 Special Edition. Why are they special? Because the mid-range is also better than both the Stealth and the version 2. Generally speaking, the mid-range has better resolution, better detail, and is more colorful than both of the alternatives that we have from the Heshe 1000 series. This one has the best dynamic range, they have the most impactful mid-range and they have the most colorful, most vivid, most alive mid-range of them all. They just sound like you are there. They sound like you are in the first row of a concert. They sound like you are right there next to the musicians while they're playing the song. They put you right into the action. This doesn't mean that they do have a limited or a small soundstage and quite on the contrary, they have a huge soundstage that expands in both we 
fluid depth. The soundstage just keeps going and going and going. You, you can hear music coming from very far apart. The instrument separation is incredible and the overall resolution is also incredible. You'll hear every single minute detail in your music. The way the Heche 1000 Special Edition paints music is truly special. And I did review the version 2 and the stealth and reviewing the special edition next to them makes this one feel the best. This one has the most detail, the best overall clarity and the best resolution. What is more interesting is that even though I did hear pricier headphones, I do think that this one has the best control in the bass from most planners that I've heard to date. Even comparing them to our Dezel CD5, which is pricier at both the bass price and now that those are reduced, it is more than twice the price. The Heche 1000 Special Edition has a better overall bass impact and the bass is larger in amount. LCD5 tends to be mostly neutralish, while the special edition tends to have more impact, more slam, more punch in the bass. It tends to be so, so nice to hear, especially with rock, with EDM, with pop music. But those ones are brilliant with jazz, with classical and with orchestral as well. They basically can play everything out there. There is nothing that they don't handle well. And speaking of the treble, they are pretty similar to the other HA1000 headphones. They are also quite bright, quite vivid, quite brilliant and quite sharp as well. If you are sensitive to a brighter treble, then maybe Hyphiman HA1000 series isn't for you. They do have the Ananda Nano, which is less bright. They have the Araya Organic, the Araya Stealth. They do have other options that have a slightly smoother treble, but this one, the HA1000 Special Edition is incredibly sharp, incredibly detailed, resolute and bright. They have a special brightness to their sound. And since the bass is not recessed in any way and the mid-range is not recessed in any way, you would call this kind of sound natural. Linear, it isn't, because usually linear implies that there is a more limited dynamic range and a more intimate sound stage. So it is not linear, it is very, very natural. The sound just sounds live, alive, vivid and impactful. At about 2000 US dollars, the competition is incredibly high. There are so many options that you can go for in this price range and even cheaper headphones that you can purchase which would compete head to head with the HA1000 Special Edition. One headphone that I'm reviewing basically at the same time is the Hyphiman Audivina. This is a close back headphone from Hyphiman and you can see that they use the same headphone support mechanism, a very similar ear cap size and shape, although the ear pads of the Audivina are much thicker, so there is more space inside of the ear cap, but this shouldn't affect the comfort. They both have more than enough space for any ear inside. The Audivina tends to be a bit lighter than the Heche 1000 Special Edition, so those ones sit a bit lighter on my head, I feel them less, and the Audivina also provides a very slight passive noise isolation or passive noise attenuation, more like. They don't have a proper passive noise isolation because even though they are close back, you can hear even the air conditioning humming on top of me. I can hear my own voice. I can hear a lot of stuff with them. So those aren't close back to isolate you. Rather, they are close back so that they have an entire landscape where the sound can reflect from the ear cup and give you the most pinpoint precision in the soundstage. They can give you a more precise soundstage than the Heche 1000 Special Edition, although both of them do quite well with the soundstage. So if you heard them side by side, you would likely consider the Audivina to be superior in instrument separation and placement, while the Heche 1000 Special Edition will be superior in the overall resolution, in the overall soundstage size and in how holographic it sounds. They both are very similar and they both are really good. The most major difference comes in the mid-range where the Audivina tends to bring the voices and the entire instrument a bit back. They push everything back from you so you hear everything in a wider space. They do create the sensation that music happens in a closed hole so the close back design does change the sound a bit while the Heche 1000 Special Edition tends to play everything as it would in open air. This means that the Heche 1000 Special Edition would sound more like a live concert or music played in a park or in an open space, while the Audivina will sound more like a very high quality concert hall. So they have a very different presentation to them, but neither of them won't be inferior to each other. We also have the Crowzone CZ8A, 
which also is closed back. So a lot of closed back headphones that try to do a huge soundstage in the price point. And the CZ8A tends to have a bit more passive noise isolation. They are better if you can't leak your music and if you want to keep everything to yourself. And compared to them, the Heche 1000 Special Edition tends to have a similar amount of bass impact and of bass depth, but the mid-range is much more forward on the cross zone, while on the Heche 1000 Special Edition it is more natural. The mid-range timber and the mid-range presentation is more even, while on the cross zone CZ8A it tends to have a bump around the mid-mid-range, which creates a bit of a plasticky sound and resonance in the voices. On the other hand, when it comes to the treble, the CZ8A is much smoother, relaxed and laid back, while the Heche 1000 Special Edition is bright, sharp, precise and energetic. We also should mention Rosson RAD0, and RAD0 is a headphone that is smooth, full sounding and thick. Comparing the Heche 1000 Special Edition to them, the Hyphiman will have a much brighter, more open sound with a much wider soundstage, better resolution, better dynamics, better clarity, but less bass and much more brightness and air in the treble. Rosson RAD0 will sound smoother, fuller, bassier, heavier, and will have much less impact in the treble. So they are very different and you will know which you prefer from the get-go. Having to reach a conclusion is easy with the Heche 1000 Special Edition. This is like a best buy in the Heche 1000 series. They have the best resolution, the best clarity and the most bass impact. Now, if you don't want the most bass impact, then you can scale down to Heche 1000 version 2, which has a brighter sound, less impact and more focus on the mid-range and on the treble. If you want a smoother sound, you can scale sideways to the Heche 1000 Stealth, which has a smoother overall sound, a slightly lower amount of bass, but a slightly lower amount of treble as well, which tones everything down and keeps everything more laid back and more relaxed. If you want the most engaging, most vivid and the brightest of them all, the sharpest of them all, the most resolute of them all, and the most impactful of them all, then the Heche 1000 Special Edition is going to be your choice. Those ones are extraordinary. Those ones are headphones that I enjoy immensely. I do think that in the Heche 1000 series, they are still kings, but they aren't necessarily the best for everyone. You have to keep in mind that you may like something slightly different than I do, and that is okay. It is okay to experiment and it is okay to know your own tastes. It is okay to not like them the most, even after auditioning them. Speaking of auditioning, it would be a great idea to purchase from a place that has a good return policy, just in case they don't fit with your source or they don't fit with your music or if they don't meet your expectations. Everyone has their own expectations and that is okay too. I thank you so much for watching. I don't expect anything from you, but if you did like the video, it would be really helpful if you could like like this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more news about headphones and about audio in general and it would help me a lot if you could share this video with your friends and with everyone you know so that more people can see my rather smallish channel. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see each other really soon. Bye bye!